All right, guys, here is the big match on day 14. Thanks for watching the channel with me. Um, I was able to send out my uh, PayPal thank yous today, so I got updated. Man, I, I didn't realize that people had sent contributions to the channel via the PayPal link that will be down in the description as far back as late November. And I hadn't said thank you before the end of the year. I think I got caught up in uh, the holidays and going to Guam and stuff and didn't do my due diligence. So thank you to everybody that went by the tip jar. And you should have a little message in your inbox on PayPal or maybe in your email. Um, and one of the person that sent me some money uh, was James, James J, I'll say, a retired Navy man who knows that I uh, call San Diego home and he currently lives in San Diego as many retired Navy personnel do. And he was telling me that he went to his first sumo basho when he was stationed in Japan in 1967. <laughs> so I was born in 1969. Uh, so that's even before I was born. So he's definitely got some sumo years on me, but he's enjoying the channel and, and took some time out to send some money to the tip jar. So James, thank you so much. I sent you an email uh, to say thank you and to chat a little bit, but uh, it bounced back. It said your email was not working, uh, so I hope nothing's happened to James or anything uh, since then, but uh, perhaps, uh, you know, he's got some filters set on it or something. But uh, James, I think you know who you are if you're watching this. Uh, I do really appreciate it, and thank you for your service in our United States Navy. Um, I, I highly recommend you watch the Takata Fuji video. I doubt you would think to watch that video if you're just clicking around and you don't watch the whole playlist in order. Uh, there's some very interesting information about Takata Fuji, I think, uh, that comes up in that video. So uh, I recommend you watch that Takata Fuji versus Oho match up on the channel today. Um, okay, so looking ahead to tomorrow, of course, Sunday we'll have special prizes. Uh, we'll have the winner of the U Show decided. Uh, we already know who won in the third tier division. We know who won in Jurio, but we don't know who's going to win here in the top division. We can't know until tomorrow. We know Terano Fuji, who got the free win from Hoshoru pulling out, is uh, already at uh, 12 and 2. So one of these two men, who also only has two losses, will maintain and go to 12 and 2 as well. So we know that Kirishima will fight Terano Fuji tomorrow. We just don't know who Kota Nawaka will fight yet. Uh, we'll find out in about an hour. The guess is either Asanoyama or uh, Tobizaru, but uh, it could be somebody else. We're not sure. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, I'm, I, don't, I don't think I'll have a ton of matches for you tomorrow. Um, there'll certainly probably be a few Darwin matchups, 7-7 seven seven versus 7-7. Seven seven. I usually throw those up on the channel. Um, and... Uh, the, the big one will be the Kotono Waka match again tomorrow and the Kirishima Terano Fuji final match of the day. So I know you will all be tuning into that. Uh, thank you to everybody that joined the channel. I'm going to try to find a way to see all your names in an easy way where I don't have to actually write them down on paper so I can scroll through and say thank you to all the channel members tomorrow on uh, in the videos, give you a kind of a shout out. And... Uh, Everybody that's gone by the tip jar, thank you so much. If you went by recently to the Teespring store and bought some of my merch, uh, thank you so much. Uh, it all helps. And man, the contest. Woo! Uh, Asanoyama coming back from injury is really, uh, I was hoping that that would really, uh, him pulling out would be the thing that would really change the shape of the contest. But then, of course, he came back and he won and he got another win today. So... Yeah, the contest is really crowded up at the <laughs> up at the top, uh, you know, first second place. So we still need one more day uh, to maybe determine who who the winners are. And if we end up with like twenty five winners, oh, we'll have to have a discussion in the wrap up video about how we're going to deal with that. Uh, that's never happened before, but it could. Uh, so uh, you know, a lot of you have the same team, and then some of you have Terano Fuji, and some of you have Kirishima. Uh, so that will sort itself out tomorrow because one of them will lose and one of them will win. Um, those of you who have Hoshoru are probably a little out of luck now. Uh, but uh, yeah, Meisei didn't win today to go higher than Asanoyama. And 
uh, Tamawashi, uh, you know, so it, it's just, it's funny. Um, I think 31 people at the start of the day were tied for first place. Uh, but that's great. You know, I just, obviously I can't send out 25, uh, you know, gifts. Um, <laughs> so that would take me forever and, and cost a little too much. But uh, we'll work it out. Don't worry. Uh, so the wrap-up video I plan to put up on the channel about a week after the end of the Basho tomorrow. So that'll probably be February 3rd on the Saturday. I'll try to film it. Uh, and get that up on the channel, uh, tell you about any of the injury updates, of course talk about do we have a new Ozeki, do we have a new Yokozuna, all that kind of stuff, and uh, injury updates on Hoshoru, all that kind of stuff, and uh, announcement of the prize winners and all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, look for that video in about a week, and then in February itself, I'll have the new uh, sumo cards that just came out this past week, and I'll open a box of those live on camera. So if you're interested in those as a collectible, uh, feel free to uh, watch that video. And yeah, I think that's about it from me. All right, who are you rooting for? The man in green? You want to see him become an Ozeki? You want to see him win today? And obviously keep his hopes at the U Show alive. Or do you want Kirishima to win? Keep his hopes of Yokozuna promotion alive? This is a big match for both of these men. Let's see who's going to do it. I think in their head-to-head, -head, Kirishima's won, I want to say, the last four in a row. But Kotonowaka has beaten him, but not many times. I want to say it's like 6-2 to two or something in their meetups. But uh, definitely Kirishima has been dominant lately. Okay, here we go. The nerves, no, not surprising. Big match here. もう一度両サトモニシュツースとというところです。もう一度 one more time. Matanash, no more waiting. Oichiban Matanash. Oh! Can't get the timing right. ま、ちょっと、ね、見てみますけど、次早めてるんです。から、はね上げて。おお、わあ。わあ。横の方勝ちました。わあ。すごい。Now, why am I so excited? Why, uh, you know, I like Kirishima. I want to see him become a Yokozuna. And the fact is, though, by that win by Kotsunawaka, we could have a massive playoff tomorrow. Um, so, well, now I guess it wouldn't be massive anymore. But anyway, uh, he, of course, goes to 12-2. and two, um, And a lot of people are saying that's going to be enough. Um, he, he, that might be enough for him to get promoted to Ozeki. Uh, because, you know, he beat Kirishima, and, uh, <laughs> wow, what a match. Um, I'm still kind of recovering. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so, if he wins tomorrow, oh, okay, that would be the way we could have a big playoff. Wait, no, because, yeah, okay, so, Kirishima is 11-3. and three. He beats Terunofuji. Terunofuji 
is 12 and 3, Kirishima's 12 and 3, and then Kotonowaka loses in his regulation bout, he's 12 and 3. Okay, that's how it could happen. We could have a three way playoff between those three guys for the championship if all those permutations took place tomorrow. So I think that makes it really exciting as a sumo fan going into tomorrow. The, the sucky thing is, that right now, at this moment, by the time you watch this, you will know, but right now I do not know who Colton Iwaka is going to fight tomorrow. And uh, But wow, what a victory for him for the Seke Wake. Uh, and Kirishima, you know, if you're a fan and you want to see him become Yokozuna, don't give up. Because... While he, you know, the best he can do now is 12 and 3, he can still win the U show. He has to beat Terano Fuji and, of course, hope that Colton Iwaka loses his regulation match. So it's not completely under his control. He has to do more than just win his match. He has to have a little help from, say, Asanuyama if he fights Colton Iwaka. But it can happen. So the possibility is still alive. And I think that makes it really, wow, what an exciting day 15 it's going to be tomorrow. Um, I know you'll be on the channel with me. Uh, what did you think of that outcome? Wow. Uh, I'm still a little stunned uh, that he got that win. Fantastic. Um, and I think uh, it keeps, uh, you know, all the permutations uh, floating <laughs> for one more day. And uh, uh, it's going to make it a hell of an exciting uh, couple matches at the end of the day tomorrow. But I'll have those matches, of course, some more uh, from earlier in the day. Probably the uh, trophy for Wakataka Kage and Takeru Fuji, who won the Jurio division. Here are your winners and losers today. Uh, Takanosho went to 9 and 5. Uh, Surugisho got his Kachikoshi to go to 8 and 6. Uh, Oho uh, beat Takata Fuji in that match. And like I said, go check that match out for the information about Takata Fuji. Uh, but Oho doing well at 9 and 5. A lot of guys just under 10. Um, Onosato went to 10, though. So I think, it, I think he'll be a conditional special prize tomorrow. If he wins tomorrow to get 11 wins, I think he'll get the Kanto show in his debut. Um, and, wow, I'm just a great, great finish. Abi getting a huge win to now, now uh, have the chance to go to Komosubi in March. Uh with uh, Atami Fuji losing today. So lots of uh, interesting stuff here on day 14. Okay, thanks for watching the channel. All the links you need will be down in the description box of this video. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.